More than 70% of our planet is covered with water, whereas the remaining part consists of continents and islands. Oceans cover the largest stretch of water bodies in the world and are a hub of diverse forms of life. Most importantly, still, over 80% of the ocean remains unexplored. Mariana Trench is considered to be the deepest part of the ocean, having an estimated depth of about 36,000 feet at its deepest point. It possesses one of the most intricate and diverse ecosystems ever known to humanity. Today, we'll acquaint you with 15 super scary creatures found in Mariana Trench that you might not have heard of before. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up or else one of these monsters might just decide to pay you a visit. 60-Foot Shark A Japanese marine biologist recorded this incredible footage which shows an image of a mammoth 60-foot-long shark. The ugly beast is swimming about a mile down in the Mariana Trench. At the start of the clip, the shark can be seen approaching the bait cage. Meanwhile, we can see its terrifying white eyes as the camera jolts up. This footage has revived the speculation that the long-extinct Megalodon is still ruling the ocean deep below the waves. Megalodon is not only the biggest shark, but also known to be the largest fish to ever exist. Its length is estimated to vary from 40 to 60 feet, three times longer than the world's largest recorded great white shark. Its jaw span is estimated to be 20 feet wide, which is wide enough to permit swallowing two adult persons simultaneously side by side. It's believed by scientists at least that 13 million years ago this mammoth fish ruled the ocean and died out approximately 2.6 million years ago. Green Eye Squid Scientists had a unique experience when they shone blue LED lights on this green-eyed squid. One eye of the squid is of normal size, whereas the other is extraordinarily large and green, which indicates the presence of a blue light absorbing fluorescent pigment. This unique adaptation of the eye perhaps assists in capturing prey by breaking their camouflage. This squid is a member of a group known as the cockeyed squids for having one eye much smaller than the other. Researchers think that the smaller eye has been evolved for looking downwards and watching predators from the depths. Contrarily, the larger eye looks upwards and detects the shadows of potential prey moving against the extremely faint light above it. The larger eye has a lens equipped with fluorescent pigment that absorbs blue light. Its eyes are asymmetrical, which allows it to perceive light in both dim and bright surroundings. Another adaptation is its semi-upright posture, which allows the squid to simultaneously look up, down, and sideways. Green-eyed squid is found in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Atlantic Ocean, where depths vary from 3,300 feet to the surface where they come for food. Predatory Tunicate this sea squirt is distinct for its predatory behavior. Other tunicates feed by filter feeding, whereas the predatory tunicate waits for tasty, minuscule marine life which swims across. It has a big mouth mounted on a stalk which is stuck to the sea floor. As the tiny creatures wandering around enter it, the mouth is closed. After sucking the food, they reset the trap. Through this strategy, the predatory tunicate manages to eat small prey which might be swimming above the sea floor. A small crustacean may not have much value for us, but for them it's extremely important. Despite being simple-looking, this hermaphroditic 5-inch wide predatory tunicate is believed by scientists to be a distant family member of humans, as both belong to the animal family Phylum chordata. Acorn Worm Acorn worms are slimy and leave sinus trails of sediment on the deep sea floor. In 1873, the crew of E.V. Nautilus discovered an acorn worm on the sea floor when an unknown species of the deep-sea worm was dredged from approximately 3.5 miles below the ocean surface. During the next 140 years, the species of worm was not seen again. Acorn worms have their distinct class. It's not been spotted for a long time as it's very fragile and tends to disintegrate once dredged. It's most appropriate to collect the animals with a submersible, and they can be plucked delicately from the bottom of the ocean. Acorn worms are extremely different from shallow water worms, which are quite muscular and strong, as well as tend to dig burrows and siphon particles from the sea floor. Rediscovered acorn worm species crawl along the ocean's bottom and eat particles of food. Gran Rojo Jelly Gran Rojo, or Big Red Jelly, resembles a big red spaceship cruising in the depths of the ocean. It's a new species of jelly, having a bell diameter up to 3 feet wide. It's very prominent, but found deep inside the ocean, about 2,000 to 4,800 feet below the surface. It was observed through video cameras installed on deep-diving, remotely operated vehicles. Gran Rojo jelly was discovered in 1993. It has no tentacles, rather it uses 4 to 7 fleshy arms to hunt for food. It is without heart, bones, eyes or brain. 
Its body consists of about 95% water, still it can easily move from place to place for prey. Its habitat is spread over the areas of the Pacific Ocean in the Sea of Cortez, Monterey Bay, Hawaii, Japan, and Mariana Trench. Mysterious Creature A very rarely observed giant and mysterious jellyfish is found deep in the Mariana Trench. It's also called Deep Stereo Enigmata. Despite dark depths, advanced technology is opening the mystery of the ocean. A recent 10-minute encounter, particularly with this tentaculous animal, has helped broaden our knowledge. Its large bell has helped hypothesize that this jellyfish is an ambush predator. Its whole bell membrane, which closes around like a blanket, is used to capture prey moving upward. Its bell membrane is immensely thin, wide, and translucent like an undulating sheet of a lava lamp. Unlike the group living style of several jellyfish, this species prefers to live solitary. It's considered that the bell of this jellyfish is used for either locomotion or feeding. It also has a mesh pattern throughout its body which delivers nutrients to the complete body. The cardiovascular system of this jellyfish is clearly visible through its skin. Gigantic Squid A 10 to 12 foot long juvenile squid was recorded on a video in the Gulf of Mexico by the Florida scientists, which is the first gigantic squid recorded in the waters of the USA. Our knowledge about this squid is restricted to just a few specimens that have been captured in deep sea fisheries and on beaks found in the stomachs of a sperm whale, which is the biggest predator of this species. When fully grown, these squids are reported to have a length of up to 45 feet. For the first time, they were observed in 1925, but only a few specimens were recovered subsequently. A camera system called the Medusa was used for exploring the deep sea. It uses red lights which are not visible to the creature and are also not noisy. Green Bomber Worm Midnight zone in the ocean is a world of complete darkness where predators roam around on the shadows and are ready to assault any prey. In 2009, scientists discovered a unique species known as the Green Bomber Worm. It's found in the waters of the Mariana Trench at extreme depths of 8,900 feet. When danger approaches, it drops its bombs, tiny balloon-like structures or sacs filled with fluid that glow in the dark and distract predators. Researchers have observed that this segmented worm swims backwards after releasing the bombs. Tactics of releasing one's body parts are not something unheard of. In the case of the green bomber worm, balloon bombs seem to be made of modified gill parts and glow only when ejected from the worm. Mariana Snailfish Mariana Snailfish resembles the ghosts of the abyss and are considered to be the deepest fish ever captured from the deep sea. They live under extreme water pressure. Several snailfish reside in limited zones of the sea like Mariana. However, this species is different from all other previously discovered species, not just because of its extremely deep habitat, but due to its unique physiology and structure. Deep Sea Chicken Monster Scientists have spotted something resembling a headless chicken. This monstrous creature is pinkish red with a body similar to a plump, basted and decapitated chicken. Some people online have named it the Headless Chicken Monster. It is a swimming sea cucumber. It has fins that assist it to swim upward and run away from predators. Their average size varies between 2 and 8 inches in length, have colors ranging from dark reddish-brown to crimson, although the young ones have a peculiar, paler shade of pink. Usually, most kinds of sea cucumber live together on the seabed. However, swimming cucumbers like this headless chicken monster land just to feed. Researchers found this sea cucumber about 9,800 feet beneath the surface in the southern ocean, close to eastern Antarctica, where it has never been observed before. Alien Basket Stars Basket stars are found throughout the world, however the majority of them inhabit the deep sea and reach a size of about 2 feet including their arms. Basket stars possess 5 arms extending from the central body disc. Each arm spreads extensively and results in a mesh-like formation. These are unbelievably flexible tendrils. Interestingly, the arms of basket stars are covered with leather skin. Similar to other echinoderms, basket stars lack blood, therefore they obtain gas through their water vascular system. During the daytime, they hide in crevices, whereas at night, climb to elevated positions to get food. They perch in an elevated position and extend their arms like a mesh net perpendicularly to the current. They prey on small crustaceans, jellyfish, and other minor animals that come within range of their enormous twisting arms. Each branch of the arm has tiny, sharp hooks which facilitate it to capture the victim comfortably. Hatchetfish the marine hatchetfish inhabits all the major oceans in the tropical and subtropical waters, many thousands of feet under the surface. They've been given this name due to the hatchet shape. 
The fish have sets of eyes, some of which even point upwards, helping it in looking towards the sky very conveniently. They absorb maximum possible light, which helps in spotting small crustaceans, etc., due to their shadows. Their underside is covered in bioluminescent photophores that are capable of emitting blue light of appropriate intensity, which makes the fish disappear in the twilight. Their slender bodies and reflective scales have equipped them with a row of light-discharging organs for concealing their shadows. They can adjust their underbelly lights, which makes them almost invisible in the backdrop of the faint light above them. Frilled Shark the frilled shark is considered a descendant of a shark species which existed approximately 99 million years ago according to scientists. Therefore, it is generally referred to as a living fossil. It's one of the most primitive shark species in the world. It has a ruffled throat and rounded head resembling a lizard. Its common name is attributed to its gills. Its first pair of gills pass across its throat and each pair of gills has a red fringe lining at the edges. Shark skeletons are made of cartilage and don't fossilize well. Therefore, most of the information about ancient relatives is deduced from their mineralized teeth. The mouth of the frilled shark has 300 backward-facing trident-shaped teeth arranged in 25 rows. It can engulf a prey equal to half the length of its body. Black Sea Devil The Black Sea Devil, or angular fish, has a gaping mouth with sharp needle-like teeth, a bit of a startled expression, and a lure atop its head which lights up and is used to attract prey. The angular fish is just about 3.5 inches in length. So far, just over a dozen angular fish have been captured by the camera. A female angular fish can grow up to the size of a baseball. Males are just parasites, ill-equipped for feeding and have the sole responsibility to mate with a female. After mating, the male bites into the belly of the female angular fish and latches on until his body fuses with hers. Squid with shoulders These squids from the Magna Penna genus have distinguished flappy fins known as big fins. The big fin squid seen in this footage was found at a depth of 1.5 miles. This is one of the most unusual creatures of the deep seas. Their fins measure up to 90% of the length of their body and have extremely long arms, and some of which are most often held at a 90-degree angle from the side of their body and looking as if they have shoulders. Another subject of interest is their elbow-like kink, which is probably a way to prevent their tentacles from getting entangled. Scientists opine that these squids collect food through their arms and tentacles, which drag along the seafloor and trap organisms off the floor. Their appendages have microscopic suckers, and there is one long arm held above their bodies which has baffled researchers. Maybe this posture is related to their filter feeding. Do you plan to explore some treacherous depths of the ocean? If yes, do share with us in the comment section which of these monsters would you want to avoid at all costs. We'll be back soon with another mind-blowing video. Until then, have a great time and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on new releases.